Hey friends, it's Rachel here. Welcome to another video. Um, today I'm sharing a video part that's part of the Paper Crafting YouTubers Hop. And it is, what's the title again? Sunshine and Rainbows or something like that. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to do some rainbow shakers. So I have cut out everything already um, out of my machine, but I need to assemble it. So I'm just, I just wanted to do a little intro to show you these things because I already have done a little bit of it um, and then we will get into the process of it all. So I am using Coco Vanilla Studio uh, Storyteller Collection for the paper uh, back here and then I've printed the layers here and um, I used the pink paper, it's the other side of the paper, and then some glitter. Um, I'm not going to do the clouds, I don't know, just didn't feel like it fit. Um, but I am going to use some sequin mixes here that I've made or from my shop. This one's in my shop right now, I think, if it's not sold out. Um, and I have the code YouTube20 if you want to get 20% off an order from my shop. I do sequin mix subscriptions and I do sequin mixes and sequin boxes and classes and all the things. So if you want to do some shopping, I will um, put the link down below and you can use the code YouTube20 for 20% off your order of sequin mixes. Um, the only exclusion there would be um, the subscription because it's already discounted. Um, so yeah, these are the mixes I think I'm going to use. This pink one, this was actually from the Made with Love Valentine's class that I hosted with Fleur. And then this one was from, I think, like February, no, March, no, April, <laughs> maybe April sequin mix subscription. I can't remember. <laughs> I get all the months mixed up. I have this one here as well that I made in case I change my mind on the color, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. We will see. Um, I do have lots of others I can choose from as well, but these are the two that I pulled. So anyway, I'm gonna start assembling. I'm gonna have the links for everyone down below who's participating in this hop, and you can see all the different crafts everyone's making today. And let's get into it. Okay, so I am going to start the assembling. And um, I cut all of the different parts. We have the background paper. We have the, um, the foam. So all I did was just run the foam with the die through my cutting machine, just as I would with the paper, and it worked perfectly. Um, and so then it's the perfect shape. So just putting some sequins in there. Some of the sequins were a little bit big, so um, I couldn't fit them all, but the little ones I fit in. And um, yeah, there's one thing at the end of the video, I, I, I wasn't able, when I was filming this, I wasn't able to wait for the glue to dry. So the glue was still light um, when I took the video at the end. So you'll just have to, you know, see the pictures on Instagram or something if you want to see the glue dry. But I put a little, a little too much glue here and uh, a lot of it came out <laughs> and it took a while for it to dry clear. But that's okay. Um, so, yeah, there's not really much to say about these because they're pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Just going to glue all the little sections here. Um, there's nothing crazy to it. But uh, by the time this video goes up, when you're watching this video, if you watch it the day it goes up, I will be on my way back from Florida. I'm going to Disney for the week with my mom and um, she's turning 60 this year. So we're going there to celebrate and um, yeah, it's going to be really fun. Uh, we flew in on Monday and spent Tuesday at Magic Kingdom, uh, Wednesday at Hollywood Studios, Thursday at Animal Kingdom and Friday at Epcot. So Obviously, at the time of this recording, I have not gone yet, but by the time you see this video, we'll be on our way home, and um, yeah, so that is what is going on in my life. Um, we have a lot of plans, a lot of reservations, um, hopefully flights and everything go smoothly, and it should be a really awesome trip. We have, yeah, we have lots planned, hoop de doo August Cantina. Um, lots of character dining, so we have a really full, full trip, and, um, I was asking my mom, um, what, like, even, like, night shows she wanted to see, like, fireworks shows and stuff, like, which ones she wants to see, and she's like, oh, I thought we would just do all of them. I was like, okay, that's, that's fine, I just wanted to make sure, because we'll be up early, 
extra magic hours, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the other day she was complaining to my family that I'm going to um, like work her too hard or wear her out at Disney. And I'm like, you're the one who wants to go to all of the, the nighttime shows. You're the one who wants to stay up late. So don't be looking at me. I asked. <laughs> so it'll definitely be an exhausting trip, but so good. Um, if you, I don't know how much I've shared on YouTube. I share a lot over on Patreon, but back in the fall, I was in Florida and we were doing a Disney trip, um, but we only got one day in because the hurricane came in, so we had to leave. Um, so this is kind of a little bit of a redo. That trip I went with Andy. This one I'm going with my mom, and it's just like fully Disney, so it should be a lot of fun. We're staying at Pop Century. Um, I've only stayed on property once before. My in-laws have a timeshare in Florida, so we don't normally stay on property when we have other accommodations that are obviously much more reasonably priced because... Disney prices are just like have skyrocketed over the past couple years. So anyway, this because my mom and I are like splitting it, we're splitting all the things. We thought it made sense to stay on property and then we wouldn't have to rent a car and pay for parking and um, can just take the Skyliner from some of the resorts and the bus for the other resorts. So it kind of works out really well staying at Pop Century. Um, the other part, uh, hotel I've stayed at or resort I've stayed at is I think it was the Dolphin but that's not like it's like technically Disney property but like it's not a Disney hotel kind of I don't know so I'm excited to like actually stay on Disney property at a Disney hotel we have the Skyliner so that will be super handy I love the Skyliner so that'll make it really nice and easy Anyway, so I said that I didn't do the the um, clouds on the rainbows, but now I'm kind of wishing I did the clouds, but I still think it turned out great overall. You'll have to let me know what you think. Adding some Nouveau drops there. And yeah, as you can see, the glue is taking a while to dry. So just ignore that. Ignore that in the, the final... I do like a little video at the end, but I still haven't taken my photos because I'm trying to let the glue dry for my photos, but... Yeah, it takes a minute to dry, and that's fine. Um, so I hope you'll check out everyone's links down below. I've linked everyone, and you can see what kind of videos they do. I know there are a lot of scrapbookers, so mine, you know, might be a little bit different than everybody else's, but um, I think that's what makes this hop fun, is that you, you find different types of videos and different kinds of creators, and also, in less than two weeks, in a week and a half, I have my 30 days of videos coming. Um, so I'm going to talk about that a little bit more on the first day, but posting uh, for 30 days in a row. And um, it's going to be all kinds of videos from hauls to scrapbook layouts, project life, happy mail, handmade embellishments, all the things. So I hope you'll tune in for that. That starts on April 12th. So um, I would love it if you would subscribe so you can um, see the types of videos that come out from my channel. There's going to be so much good content. Uh, but that's it for the shakers. Thank you so much for watching. Links will be below and I hope you have a great day.